Yes, welcome to our demonstration video. Today we are making a demonstration inside the shallow well we are trying to dig. Uh, let me get off my element. Yeah, I'm going to demonstrate how basically we dig and the tools we use and how we take the soil on surface. So this is our well today. You can see how so far we have dug. Mm -hmm. We are in 40 feet. We are expecting it to dig up to up to around 100 feet, uh, depending on our estimate. Yeah, the, these are the walls. Uh, you can see you, you can see the top at the top. Uh, some people are there that help us uh, roll the pulley, so that this rope pulls the soil. Um, we have this is our jet can, so uh, you can easily detach it. When this jerry can reach the top, it has a hook where we just put and remove. Uh, this should be uh, a high tensile rope such that there are no chances of um, of the weight overcoming the strength of the rope. So we use simple tools. We use uh, a pick axe. Uh, this is our pick axe. Uh, we use a short spade. Um, the drum and the play system we shall see on top. So how do we dig? Because the diameter is small, or you wish to keep it small so that you can minimize the materials, but when we reach the water table, or the, if the water table is reached, it's good to widen the base, or to, to widen so that you can have more water in, the, in that storage space. So when we reach the water, we shall widen the base. So basically, this is how we dig. I'm not going to use force since my cameraman is just in here, just like this. Yeah, just like this. I think that would be enough for for the demo until we we make the depth we want all up to the water. Yes, shallow wells have advantages over deep wells, but as well as limitations. Uh, one of the advantages is that they require less initial investment costs compared to machine drilled wells. Um, the other one is that the materials we use uh, in most areas, they are local available. For example, when we are building a well, we use clay burnt bricks. You can use any type of brick, but it's good to use a brick that may take uh, some good time before it loses its properties. <coughs> we use like sand and cement. Uh, to construct the well, when we reach the top of the, uh, when we are putting the cover, we use um, any bars, uh, wire mesh, and then a small door for access, or a pedestal if you are to motorize your well, or if you are going to put um, um, a, a hand pump. Yes. Now uh, the other advantage is that. Um, yes, you can get water, uh, enough water, but depending on your estimated water requirement, if you need more than 20,000 liters a day, yeah, a well may not provide that sufficient water, but it also depends on the area where the well is being constructed um, and, the, and the soil type. You can expect getting much more water in a in, in, in areas, when you're digging in areas uh, neighboring swamps or valleys, and the well shouldn't be done in a valley or a swamp itself, because uh, in swamps you may experience floods during heavy rainfalls, uh, which may which water may contaminate our water in the shallow well. Um, um, okay, the, the, the limitations of 
shallow wells or underground wells in Kurund. Um, the, the area shouldn't be located because we cannot manually dig through rocks. Um, uh, like that. Um, yeah, so some of the limitations include um, rock areas. The shallow well cannot be dug through uh, rock areas. Um, well, we cannot dig through rocks. Yes, there are some machines you can use. Uh, for example, compressors and uh, marketers or drilling tools. Uh, but to some extent, you may not advise someone to use uh, those kind of machines because you are not sure the depth of the rock. So in some cases, we may advise you maybe to do a hydrological survey, say that the geologists dictate some areas uh, where there is a possibility of hitting a rock, but when there are fractures that bear water, uh, or to dig a new place. Uh, the other limitation is that, yes, if the well is not, um, if you don't do it at the right distances from um, areas, uh, where you can expect contaminations like near toilets, uh, near graveyards, near um, sewage, sewage plants, near maybe industries or factories that discharge um, uh, maybe dirty water. So it should be some meters or some distance. Um, actually, it is recommended to do a well 50 meters from such places. Um, that is if the well is on the upper side, and if the well is on the lower side, it is recommended to do the well at least 80 meters from that kind of um, uh, that kind of areas where you can expect some pollution. Uh, so um, when you when the soil is accumulated, you just get your your short set. here. Samuko, Samuko, you don't No one see. Aya, ah, you put yourself in the drum. Yeah, this is how you put the soil into the drum. Sula muko karono. Aya, what about so um, you direct someone on top to pull using the pulley system to take the soil. And yeah, that's how it goes up and how we take the soil from the surface. And then someone continues digging. some energy but now I'm more because my cameraman is just here I don't want to, like, to use our energy yeah, so 
Ngoni huwa na sobo. Mwuna kwa.